Covering the Africa Cup of Nations is the dream of almost every football journalist on the continent. But for young Gambian female photojournalist Sajo Balde, her first Afghan coverage was more than just a dream come true. A trailblazer at the continent flagship football event in Cote d'Ivoire, the 21 year old caught the attention of the footballing world by capturing some of the most captivating moments of the tournament through her lenses. Sajo was one of three Gambian photojournalists accredited by the Confederation of African Football. But unlike her two older male counterparts who had previous Afghan experience, it was Sajo's first major tournament. And as tough as covering such international tournaments might be, she was always ready for the task. Seen here preparing for the pre-match press conference on the eve of the Gambia's final group game against Cameroon, Sajo ensures that her equipment are intact before leaving for the venue. Covering the Afghan was a roller coaster for Sajo, who began her photography journey at the age of 15. I started photography in a summer program and staff is international. Like I was, I was 15, it was a summer program in my ninth grade when after you know ninth grade you will have a long holidays. So there's a woman called Shelly that came from the US to teach some few students on photography. And after the summer program, I built interest in photography. And since staff is, is a educational program that empowers girls education and there are a lot of extracurricular activities that happen every single day. I became a student and at the same time a student photographer as well. I find it very um, interesting on how people can capture uh, motion because when it passes, you cannot bring it back. So how they capture, mo capture the actions of the players, their emotions, whether they are happy, whether they are sad, the fans' emotion. I find it really interesting and that was why I went in for it and I started doing research about sports as well. After some disappointing setbacks in the past, which saw her miss the 2023 Afghan Under-20 tournament in Egypt due to funding difficulties. Sajo was lucky to have her trip to Cote d'Ivoire, sponsored by Fortune Football Club, where she is employed as the official photographer of the Gambian League One club. I would say it is definitely a dream come true. It is actually the thing about not giving up and keep trying, because if I had given up on the field attempts, and said that I have not been supported, people are not recognizing my work. I would not be here today, but I didn't give up. I still keep applying and trying my best. And today, it is the best feeling ever, I will say, and especially getting to be recognized internationally. Not only did Sergio make headlines globally, but the young photographer is breaking barriers in a male-dominated area, much to the delight of even the Confederation of African Football as she represents a major success story on women's participation in football. Sports photography is a full-time male-dominated job, but if you are already into it, I think it is your skill, your passion, your hard work is what drives you. It is not like, because it's a male-dominated job, you cannot do it. It's not like they cannot understand what you understand. So if you are already into it, I will say, it's when you realize that it's not difficult if you have love for it. And it is really challenging too because you will have to work double to be there in equal to the uh, men out there that are doing sports because they have more experience than you, they are more masculine and they maybe understand the game more than you. You cannot challenge them. What you have to do is to partner with them. What you have to do is to ask them questions and learn from them. But behind her astonishing achievements in the Afghan lies some challenges for the young lady who lacks all the tools to take the best shots. She even has to run camera lens for her Afghan coverage. I don't have much equipment. I have this. This is mine. But the other long lens is not mine. Not I rented it to come here today. And how much are you paying for it? Per day is thousand dollars. Per day is thousand dollars. Yes. With the 34th edition of the Africa Cup of Nations going down as one of the most exciting tournaments in the competition's history, with blockbuster games that rock the footballing world, Sergio Balde's exploits of the page as one of the youngest female photographers, capturing some of the captivating moments of the epic tournament, will forever resonate in the folklore of African football. Mamadis Jalo, GR Sports.